Hey guys, are you looking for a new gaming keyboard or gaming mouse? Maybe you want some LEDs in your RGB setup kind of thing? Check out the Naga Chroma, as well as the Death Adler Chroma, as well as some few others. Make sure to check out Razer.com. Alright guys, I've actually been using the Naga Chroma since Christmas, and I gotta tell you, I love that I have the MMO edition of it. The 12 keys on the side makes everything so much easier. And alright guys, that is Razer.com. Alright, bye bye it makes okay, a vowel sound. You, you don't hear it. You, you, you. I'm now doing it to annoy her. Do it. No. Do it. I don't know how to. Welcome back to Evil Beast. Hey guys, Beast. welcome back to another episode of... We don't need to scream. Evil Beast gaming, right? Oh, Dark Souls. Scream. Hope you guys like, Comment, like, and subscribe, and here we go. And, and go. comment if you feel necessary. Wait, if they feel necessary, if the comment is necessary. Yeah, you gotta get, the, yeah, you gotta get the, the commenters a question to ask. Did you say commenters? The, the, the viewers. Commenters. comments. The, the, the commenters. The, the little, uh, little Marcuses. Thank you. The little Marcuses. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, so. Um, I dare you to jump down from that ledge. Oh, well. He would die. Double dog, okay. Jerry. <laughs> so, what? I did it. Yeah, but you didn't. Jump down when she said. No, she said to jump off the ledge. That's all I had to do. Yeah, she meant where you were. You no, know what I meant. You would have died if you'd listened to her originally, but I did listen to her. I jumped. Eh, sure, whatever. Look, look, I will. G I'm proudly able to tell my mother I will jump with my friends off ledges. So, I'm you glad you have such a strong bond of friendship with you. What you hear the W. Wolf. Wolf. W is a wolf sound. Yeah. So wolf. new. Wolf. You don't hear the wolf. Wolf. New. E W makes a boo sound. Yeah. That's a, that's when the W is considered it as a vowel because it makes a diphthong. Don't be so like this. Saw. Aw. Like if you saw something in half. Saw. You saw something. Or you saw. Something. Saw the saw. Or you were on a seesaw. Yeah, so <laughs> that's another example of W being a vowel. Um, Maybe she was playing a prostitute. Oh, come on. So the vowel sound Why is spelled. Kids, you know, the prostitute skids. The favorite one is the LS, the gal in the LSD. Thank you. God, watch that. Those so the vowel sounds spelled the W or A W makes an aw sound. If saw E W is a boo sound, like new. So like literally the A W makes it like a short A sound. E W makes a short U sound. Ha ha. This, this gets interesting. E W makes a long U sound. Like U. U, yeah. U. O W makes a long O sound like snow. Oh my God, it sucks. And O W makes a complex sound, so diphthong, like how. Ow. That's a diphthong. Yeah, ow is a diphthong. Because so. it's not uh, a. Yeah. It's yeah. ow. It's one sound instead of two separate sounds. Woo! English. I'm trying to remember my Greek lessons. Oh gosh, I don't even want to. It's a Greek and um, Latin. See, English actually applies to me some, and it makes me understand like why so. I always taught things in, in elementary school. It's great. But, yeah. Ooh, I always forget. More Easter bunnies helping put up baskets. And we normally have, you guys were at 25 when I showed up. About the rest of them. Uh, Easter bunny apprentices. Of course. Uh, and then. Did that was. Warm, like, that was like, did you like your stream? Did you like your stream? So we had a break. It was just around the farm. Actually, took the longest. 
Ashley, oh my oh gosh. gosh. I feel so bad for her. Ashley. So we have the Asian tradition in our family where we, um, instead of like hiding Easter eggs, your basket gets hidden. And you, you get to, to your follow. basket, you Just have to follow, you have to follow and wind up a skein of yarn. No. You get like a whole skein of yarn to yourself. You have to follow it and wind it up the entire time. You can't break the string. You can't like do whatever. So, the whole, uh, <laughs> so when the Easter Bunny apprentices put out the string and they get to a part of a fence, where the, the <laughs> rungs of the fence are really close together, and they put them through the, yeah. put them back and forth that was through my the fence. Idea. That was it's my a very idea. great idea, especially when you're at the end of your skein of yarn, because when you're putting out the yarn, the skein is smaller, of course, towards the end. But when you're winding up the yarn, they have a giant ball. Oh of yarn. no! Yeah. So by the time as you got to it, she could like. Three inch oh. ball in radius kind of thing. Oh, she had to unwind her, like most of her string to put it through the rungs of oh, the fence. Has, oh my gosh. Honestly, when I decided the same color string, <laughs> when I got to the fence, I was like, I mean, there was someone else at the fence, also a kid that was at the fence who also had the same color yarn. So we all three of us had that like dark pink yarn. Uh -huh. And I was like, we have to hope that neither of us, this is neither of us. And he was like, I think it's you. And I was like, no, no, no. I'm already over here. I'm done with that area. Like, so well, I, I was at the, at my car was completely wrecked oh, up. Your car and I, had, I was inside my car and then I went out of my car vicinity and then I had to come back and forth We're like so four times. We're so sorry. We were like, no, no, no. no that was sorry. Sam's, it's okay. Sam got, got, got really excited. Uh, Marcus wrote down your wife in your windows. I was like, wait a minute. No oh, limits. So <laughs> I was like, no limits. Oh, yeah. I started going to town. Yeah, but does it doesn't snow tomorrow. Is well, it supposed to snow tomorrow? It's not supposed to snow. I'm supposed to drive home tomorrow. We're supposed to, like, maybe get some flurries. I don't see anything at all. Gonna change. I'll be leaving by noon. I think there's a north of their north of their north. Yeah, you're going south. I'm going south. Yeah. I think we're getting rain. Which way? I hope not. Can you remember to close my windows tomorrow? Close my windows tomorrow. Today. Oh, yeah, it's today. Oh, yeah, it's today. It's 141. April 2nd. It's not. It's not Fred and George's birthday anymore. Of course it is. They play drums. That's amazing. That's perfect. No, so. I love J.K. Rowling. She's amazing. I was listening to the. It's both on my way up here. You know Ron's birthday is on March 1st, the day before. Nice. That's awesome. No, I didn't. So, for some reason, I had your brother's birthday in my phone, like a month later and on the first of the month. And I was like, that's not right. That's funny. Yeah, this is on the 8th. Yeah. No, I had it on April 1st or some April something like What's early so middle of the month and I was like, or beginning of the month. It's like, what what am I doing with my life that I put my cousin's birthday on the wrong day? I had to like I put it in so that every year after that was like would notify me. Mm -hmm. I had to go back through and be like, no, nope, change this, all of them. Yeah. <sighs> We do have a lot of Steves in our life, though. Yeah, our lives. You have an Uncle Steve, and then my dad. Um, I have two Uncle Steves. Steve's. My dad's name is Steve, and my brother's Steve name is Steve for a while. Your oh. brother's name is Steve, and, and then my mom's, my mom's friend, friend was a guy. His name as well. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, those look like those creepy centipede things. Oh God, oh, hell Steve! No. It's Steve! Oh God. Everything is steep now, apparently. Oh, I don't like those things at all. It has, like, hair, too. Yep. They're kind of supposed to be, like, traps kind of thing. Like, they're dead people in the water, but then they activate. They remind me of those centipedes that have way too many legs. Oh, I hate those. The human centipede? No, the, 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 the,
No, that's um, the house out of pieces. You see that? Oh, oh God. You just call your house and you see on your wall. What, what the hell do you get in the door and the door inside books? Yeah, you're like, how the hell did you get in here? Like, I hate there's... it when you open up a book and there's a fucking hole in it. You know, my favorite thing to do when I open a book, if it's like a fresh book, like a new book or a really old book, smell. the smell of books. Smell it. Smell it. Yes. Smell it. It's all it's it's good. Did you good. know that the smell actually, you know, actually comes book. from. It's either a bacteria or a mold that actually feeds on the paper that creates that old book smell. See, part of me is like, that's really sad, and part of me is also like, I really that's like cool the smell fun. of old books, and it's really cool, so... Have you, yeah, have, but... have you seen, uh, Dr. Who? I've seen some of Dr. Who. There's you one. know, when Mark and I were younger, mm -hmm. we would run around the house when Dr. Who came on, and we'd be like, Dr. Who! Okay. <laughs> There's one episode where they're, they're like in the, the greatest um, library in the galaxy, and there's been like this, um, like this thing that happens when people take off their, their suits and they instantly, like, the way they die, their skeleton. And it's because um, this bacteria that lived on the trees Don't that, that, that were made into all these books, um, like uh, when it's cannibal, but they would sit on the flesh. But they lived in these like obscure trees, but when these trees were in this front door were all cut down, they got released in the books. It was released into the air supply. Uh, interesting. Oh, okay, Marcus, okay, just okay. letting you know you died. Oh, thank you. Continue, Lauren. Sorry. So when people came and, and made these trees into books, a then, player came and, in. And, uh, and when the trees, the bacteria would eat instantly, like a piranha, the people when they took off the masks and leave them in. Interesting. Oh gosh, that's such an interesting Ooh, episode. Cool. So, well, I heard, I had some story I was going to talk about, but I forgot. It happens all the time with me. Um, Teaching a story? Just telling the story in general. I'm fine about like reading a story, but telling my own stories, I'm like, every five seconds, I'm like, oh, let me go off on this random tangent. Or like, like oh, this story reminds me of this other thing that happened. Exactly. Or like, this story goes along with this story, but now I forgot about the first story, so I'm just going to tell about the second story. Oh, that reminds me of this other. Yeah. I'm horrible at telling stories all the time. And then somebody's like, oh, this happened to me. And then you're like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And then eventually, sometimes you get back to the original thing. You're like, how did we get there? We're talking about something. What was it? Doctor Who. Doctor Who. You're screaming Doctor Who time, Doctor Who. Doctor Who! What'd you say? Smelling books. Smelling books? Oh, yeah, because so those books made me think of that episode of Doctor Who. These type ones are definitely backwards. Yeah. Um, do something about books. I don't remember now. It's fine. Yeah, it it probably wasn't that important yeah, anyway. Have been it was did relevant. You a, did you find a bug in a book at some point when you were to send it? No. Because we were talking about those centipede things. I once found a book spelling a bug, though. That was funny. Oh, Sorry. Smelling a bug? No. I a book a... smelling a bug? No. I smelled smell a bug in a book. You smell a bug in a book smelling a bug. Nice. I'm very concerned about that. The second Do you have problems? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you sure a bug can smell like a book? No. You smell a bug and the book came out of the book. Did it poop it out? It's like reading rainbows. Hey, yeah. It's reading rainbows. She's got world going. How does that song go when we create this song? I can't quite. Uh, that. take a look. It's in the book. It's in the book. I'm a teacher right now. And there is um, one of the high school that was at my special education practicum. Or, or no, sorry, student teaching, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. Um, They had this, like, book share shelf. And it was called, like, uh, it was like, take a book. And every time, every single time, I walked through this hallway like two or three times a day. Mm -hmm. Every single time I took across this bookshelf, I was like, take a look, it's in a book, it's reading rainbow. Like I could not, every single time I walked past it. I, it drove me insane. Like it literally just said, take a book, leave a book. That's the sign, it said, take a look, leave a book. 
So lots of people were drinking, and there was one. I went to the, go to the bathroom, and there was one stall that a girl was in that was wide open, and she was in the middle of changing her oh, camera. Oh, and it was like, I was like, oh god, that's <laughs> I'm god. so sorry. It's like she was like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Just slammed the door. It's like, girl, why didn't you do that when you started? <laughs> so I remember I was telling my story. So I just left going. without going to the bathroom. I just like I was so uncomfortable. Nah. We were talking about the research of like the first bathroom is not used. Well, so like one of our stalls was specifically female. I think we only had one female only stall. The rest were co-ed out of four stalls. I always went to one stall. That was my stall. The third stall in was the stall that I always went to. But no, um. So really funny, co-ed halls. The girls next, the room next to, to mine, um, their, one of the girls, her boyfriend, always stayed in my, or stayed in her room. One night, super drunk, went to the bathroom, came back, came into my room, not her room. Oh no. Got almost out of his underwear. Uh, my roommate is sitting there yelling at him, this isn't her room, this is the wrong room, all that stuff. Got almost out of his underwear before he registered what she was saying. And then he like froze, put his underwear back on fully, grabbed the rest of his clothes, and ran out. Oh no. He was one room off. Gotta get back to him. But I was glad I wasn't staying in my room that night. I had to once take care of a friend who was so drunk that we were in high school together and we had a, uh, a 
Shakespeare class. Mm-hmm. So we had to, like, there was a point in the class where we had to memorize the Shakespeare and sonnet. Uh, and so, one, then in college, there was one night where she was so drunk, she started spouting no. this sonnet word for word. But then she was also, like, throwing up over herself, and we had to take all her clothes off. And it was, like, because she was, like, nasty. So, see. But, like, she was still rattling off this sonnet, like, perfectly word for word. I think it was, like, um, shall I compare these to the summer day? day? Yeah, that one. So, I, as a huge, huge teacher, hate that stuff. I hate it. What is the relevance of that? To the real world. Why do you have to memorize a Shakespearean sonnet? Well, it was when, a Shakespeare class specifically what, studying. You're not understanding what you're saying. But still, but still, why is that relevant? Like, why do you need to memorize a Shakespearean sonnet? When are you going to use, use that when you're drunk and puking in the toilet? Like, it was, oh, well, puking not in the toilet. Whatever. Like, when are you going to actually use that in the real world? When do you need to go to someone? Are you going to be in an interview and be like, yeah. shall I compare thee to a summer's debt? No. You can use it on somebody you're trying to woo. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Oh, now we do it. Yeah, Marcus, friendly we and temperate. <laughs> so, Ooh, really girl, really you got me. Nice and good. Now you're actually going to woo someone. Like, seriously, though, like, what is the purpose? So, like, I have students ask me all the time, Harry. why do I need to learn this? Why Harry. do I need to know this? And, like, before I teach something, like, I really, 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 we have to, like, we have several pages long of lesson plans that we have to write before we teach. So I try to make sure. Oh, Lord, no he has no armor. Okay. What? Like, why am I teaching this? How is this relevant to you? Like, we actually, we have KUDs. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the South. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the South. No. Um, but we have KUDs, so you have to be able to say what the students will know, what they will understand, and what they will do. And those aren't like, they will know that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the South. Well, they will understand that. No, it's not that. It's like, they'll know this concept. They'll understand it because this is how it's relevant to the real world. And this is what they'll be able to do with it. Like, it's not just this. Is, they'll know the mitochondria is the power of the cell. Can you please stop touching me? Thank you. And they'll understand the mitochondria is the power of the cell. Sorry. It's not, like, if we have, like, as we're writing less of it, we have to be able to figure out how is this relevant. Are you prepared for those kinds of questions? Yeah, because you're going to get those questions. Yeah. No matter what lesson you're teaching. I don't know what I do. No, my students in my special education class in high school, mm-hmm. when I asked them, I literally was like, what do you guys want to learn? Because it wasn't like a normal like ed- like English class. Mm-hmm. It was, they had their life skills class. That's what it was called, life skills. Mm-hmm. I was like, what do you guys want to learn? Because I can teach you all this stuff. But like, if I have had a teacher ask us that before, and I, I really enjoyed that kind of question. I was like, I can, it's like they were taking our opinion into account. I was like, I can teach you all this stuff, but like, it might. How does it apply to you? Yeah. yeah, like if you don't care about it, why am I teaching it to you? What's How many point? of you are going to be English major when you grow exactly. up? <laughs> so like, it was a life skills class. I taught them how to write resumes, how to write cover letters. Um, I they know wanted to learn now. cursive, so I had to finish learning cursive to teach them cursive. It was very interesting. I didn't like it because I still, I I now know cursive more. Mm-hmm. But I, I hate still myself because of cursive. It. Yeah, like I had to try it. I've been wanting to learn how to do calligraphy. Ow, I just want my souls. I just want my souls to, to know cursive. cursive really well mm-hmm. and. Um, I'm like I, my cursive still looks like a third grader. Oh, same, same. Like my when I write my name, it looks like a third grader's parenting out know, like word for word perfectly. So like I admire those people who can just like scribble it and good. Honestly, so this is what I found out from teaching my high school cursive was the best way to learn cursive is just to practice it. Literally, just yeah, don't really. Like, all cursive is slightly different. Like, there's letters. Like, I, I had one student who, when you... Alright, guys, this is the episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, and next time. Bye-bye. 
Hey guys, welcome to the outro. Make sure to like this episode, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you aren't subscribed already, and make sure to click that bell if you do subscribe. I also have a Patreon, make sure to check that out, and that is it. Bye-bye.